Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will see a drama which is a light romantic comedy. The name of the drama is So I Married an Anti-Fan. So I Married an Anti-Fan is a 2021 South Korean television series starring Choi Tae Joon, Choi So Young, Hwang Sang Jung and Han Ji Yang in lead roles. The plot of the 16 episode series centers around a reporter. It's absurd when a minute ago you were an ordinary journalist working late hours in an entertainment agency who goes out to interview a Hallow star, runs into conflict with him and the next moment you get caught in an extreme scandal with the top music star getting fired from her job. She blames him for her losing her job and becomes his anti-fan and somehow ends up living with him in the same house and romance blossoms. So, I Married an Anti-Fan is the Vicky original drama that is based on a 2010 novel So, I Married the Anti-Fan which was made into a webtoon and also adapted into a Chinese film. Choi Tae Joon previously appeared in Undatables and Suspicious Partner alongside Ji Chang Wook while Girls' Generation So Young appeared in Run On, Tell Me What You Saw and Move to Heaven. I have already done the review of Move to Heaven and Tell Me What You Saw and I have given the link in the description. If you have not checked out the video, please click on the link below. So Young is up to play a magazine features reporter Lee Yoon Young while Cho Tae Joon plays K-pop Hallyu star Wu Joon. Reporter Young's job at the magazine encompasses all manners of menial and miscellaneous tasks and her team plans feature stories like pictures on a baseball team. So, throwing out random ideas and hoping they work. Reporter Young believes in her talent and has a strong sense of justice that has gotten her caught up in other people's problem with some regularity. Wu Jun is a K-pop star who has it all, a record-breaking career on adoring international fans. Huang Chan Sung of CN Blue can also be seen in My Hollow Love and What's Wrong with Secretary Kim and previously appeared with Choi Tae Joon in Suspicious Partner. Wu Jun is not a superficial celebrity that we might be used to seeing in K-dramas, but he's got emotional depth and some baggage. It seems that he has been hurt by a lot of people and he is that he has trusted and is finding it difficult to be happy as a result. However, like many classic K-drama hero, his perfect life is well marketed illusion. Wu Jun is thwarted in love and suffocated under the weight of his fame. He is not a bad guy, but he is a little out of touch. Wu Jun is six years into his career and at the pinnacle of success in the K-pop industry. Like many K-drama heroines, So Young's character, reporter Young, recently broke up with a seemingly perfect boyfriend. Shortly after buying her a pair of sparkling Cinderella heels, that boyfriend kissed someone else. The magazine where she works assigns her to cover a celebrity party where Wu Jun plans to attend. K-pop star Wu Jun and reporter Young, a magazine reporter, both attend a club's opening night. During the event, she witnesses Wu Jun's violent behavior and he catches her prying red-handedly. She'd love to get an exclusive interview of Jun, but gets mistaken for an overzealous fan and then a tabloid stalker. It doesn't end well. Annoyed, Wu Jun breaks her camera and she throws one of her sparkling shoes at his head. As a result of the shoe throwing incident, reporter Young gets fired from her job and earns the wrath of Wu Jun's fan. This incident gets her fired from her magazine job, but it also catches the attention of JJ, an entertainment mogul played by Huang Chan Sung, who's irrationally jealous of Wu Jun. JJ is so jealous of Wu Jun that he quotes the woman Wu Ju loves just to show him up. In a Prince Charming moment, JJ picks up reporter Young's other sparkling shoe. Could he possibly turn out to be reporter Young's charming prince? Annoyed at losing her job, reporter 
Young retaliates by demonstrating in front of Wu Chun's management office, where she garners some media attention and anti-fan label. A producer approaches her about participating in a reality television show whose premise is that of a celebrity living with their anti-fan. In the reality show, she has to be married to the celebrity and live with the celebrity. Unemployed reporter Young jumps at the opportunity. Meanwhile, Jo Wu Jun is offered the same show and accepts, thinking that it could only improve his image, which was damaged because of reporter Young's interview and protest in front of his agency. That set aside, reporter Young loses her job and is convinced that Wu Jun has to be behind her firing. After getting fired. Reporter Young tries to set the record straight, sharing the story of Wu Jun's bad manners with the media, but it doesn't get her reinstated. Instead, she becomes known as the anti-fan of Wu Jun. Since reporter Young has nothing to lose, she decides to participate in the reality show and showcase to the world the true face of Wu Jun. Unemployed and homeless, reporter Young jumps to the opportunity. The filming for the show starts, and both reporter Young and Wu Jun try hard to give their best. And slowly through the process, they fall head over heels. J J O In Young, Wu Jun's first love, and Wu Jun were best friends in the past, and they were trainee in the same agency. Best friend turned enemies. J J and Wu Jun used to be close knit friends before Wu Jun refused to join J J's company that his father was buying. This would have been simple had O In Young did not exist. The trio used to hang together, but Wu Jun decides to pursue his own career at the agency that nurtured him. Their ties severed, adding to the rivalry. O In Young chooses to join J J's company. Wu Jun cherished O In Young, and with her joining J J's company, she becomes J J's woman. While Wu Jun's career flourished, both J J and O In Young's career failed to kickstart. So, I married an anti fan was directed by P D Kang Chul Wu of one percentage of something and my secret. A small snippet. The show within a show's premise is reminiscent of We Got Married, a South Korean reality show that aired from 2008 to 2017, in which celebrities pretended to be married and completed challenges together, hopefully helping them to grow closer. Choi Tae Joon actually appeared on We Got Married in 2016 with Bomi, a member of K-pop girl group A Pink. Now. We we will come to why we should see this drama. Number one, cast. How well Choi Tae Joon is pulling off the ideal character. It feels like it's been ever since Choi Tae Joon went to army. So it's nice that his drama premiered while he's still serving in the army. He is he is a presence that we've missed in K drama world. And if you're a fan of him, you'll understand his talent and charm. Choi Tae Joon first starred in Piano in 2001 as a younger version of Jo In Sung's character. As the drama was a huge success, Choi Tae Joon naturally became a household name. Although he didn't have a lot of momentum in terms of starring roles, people still kept tabs on him and supported his project. In So I Married an Anti Fan, Choi Tae Joon stars as a celebrity and K-pop star by the name Wu Joon. It is. First, it seemed like it would be a bit awkward for Choi Tae Joon to be playing a K-pop idol, although he has good friends in the K-pop industry. He knows that he is not a dancer, and so to pull off his role is quite a task on his part. But so far, it's safe to say that he's done due diligence, and it's not cringeworthy yet. He's actually a celebrity character that we don't hate and maybe relate to. So, I married an anti fan. Tells the story of an unhappy K-pop idol played by actor Choi Tae Joon. His character's fate becomes entangled with that of a journalist played by Choi So Young, who in real life is a member of an international famous K-pop girls group, Girls Generation. If that was not enough, a K-pop drama twist. His romantic competition in the series would be the entertainment mogul played by a real K-pop. Star Huang Chan Sung of 2 p.m. Number two, how perfectly sassy and beautiful So Young is. So Young had made her mark in K drama industry, and although So I Married an Anti Fan 
comes after her recent hit projects such as Tell Me What You Saw and Run On, she still has that spark and experience that naturally exclude her from her acting. In So I Married an Andy Fan, So Young plays Lee Jim Young, a journalist who gets fired as a result of jeopardizing Wu Jun's reputation. She is at a loss in many aspects of her life. She is stressed, cannot find another job, is poor and doesn't have the best support system, possibly a character a lot of us can relate to. Despite these negative things going on in her life, there's a lot of humor in a way she approaches her problem. She protests to get justice for the wrong that Wu Jun has done to her and she doesn't let getting fired really put her in a rut. She is determined to bring Wu Jun down which is pretty funny. Number 3. How unbelievably predictable but the perfect storyline is. I can't be the only one who thinks the synopsis of an anti-fan having to live with a celebrity on a reality show is a recipe for a beautiful romance. It does sound cheesy but it also sounds so good, doesn't it? It's got a lot of rom-com element that makes the drama good. It feels like it's been a while since there's been such a deliciously cheesy drama like this one and it's pretty perfect. For those of you who are in some dire need of something light and fluffy in the midst of all the thriller and crime dramas out there right now, this one is the answer. The slow motion head turns, the upbeat background music, the exaggerated falls from the female lead and the male lead catching her, it's all got it all and is a recipe for success. This one will be an enjoyable watch through and through. 4. Supporting cast. The supporting cast of the series are worth getting excited about. First we have Chan Sang. He plays the antagonist who goes by the name of JJ. He has some issues with Wu Jun and the drama seems to have a hint at a love triangle between them. Next, there is Kim Min Q. Although he has only appeared a little bit in the series, he plays a dedicated and loyal co-worker and friend of Reporter Young. His smile and charm always lights up the screen, so it's a pleasure being able to see him in this role even though it's a small one. We can't forget a beautiful and adorable second female lead, Ha Jin An. You might recognize her from her role in That Sun in the Sky or in the movie The Vanished. Her role as Oh In Young in this particular drama will bring out the jealousy and competition when it comes to the female lead. There is also Han Jae Woon played by Dong Hoon Bae, Big Band member Tai Ying's older brother. His character is sweet and nice and it seems to be for a middleman for Wu Jun and reporter Young. It's so obvious it is a very important role. Number 5. How would So Young and Choi Tae Joon actually look together? When it was announced that the two would be staring in this drama together, I wasn't sure if they would have the chemistry or if they would even mesh well together but after watching the first two episodes it's clear that the two are pretty cute together two turning their hate for each other into something very romantic and beautiful as a result of this great acting and experience these two seem to be like they are pretty good duo until the end Choi's character Wu Jun is a K-pop star who has it all a record-breaking career and adoring international friends. However, like many a classic K-drama hero, his perfect life is well-marketed illusion. Wu Jun is thwart in love and suffocated under the weight of his own fame. He is not a bad guy, but he is little out of touch. So Young's character does not like her pretend husband at all. Still, she is broke and appearing on the show is a lucrative job. Also, it might give her a chance to expose him for the not-so guy she's sure he is. For Jeju, JJ, the premise seems to be a lucky chance to dim Wu Jun's star. Number 6. Saturate Scenes Before you know it, a peak of one or two episodes would turn into an accidental binge watch. The series' upbeat tone, even showing the conflicts interestingly, makes you happy. Rom-com stories are well represented in K-drama and it's easy for the audience to realize if the story is dragging. There comes cliffhangers and the twist in the plot keeping the audience clued. Past the misunderstanding, the lead pair frolic in full blast romance. With plenty of tricks down his sleeves, Wu Jun delighted us. From stolen kisses to marriage proposal, Wu Jun won over us. I enjoy the lively vibes of the series. Light-hearted, relaxing, funny and consoling screenplay kept me glued. It's a bed breathtaking mix of comedy, romance, friendship and jealousy. 
there are 16 episodes and the drama streaming on Rakuten Wiki and the genre is romance comedy. Did you watch So I Married an Anti-Fan K-Drama? Who is your favorite character and what is your favorite scene? Please do reply in the comment section below. And that's all in this video. If you like this video, please do click on like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. I'll be back soon with another video. Until then, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.